Wonder trading is a mechanic in Doodle World that allows you to randomly trade with another player who's using the feature. The catch is both of you don't know what you're gonna get. Sending your doodle out into the wild grants you a random doodle bag in return, so you can either get a really bad doodle or end up getting something good. Today I'm gonna be using Wonder Trade to build my own PvP team. That's right, with the help of Wonder Trade, I don't need to put any work into a PvP team. This is a horrible idea. This counter right here will count the value of the doodles I get from Wonder Trading. We want this number to get lower as the video continues. Here are the chances for some pretty common encounters that we can expect to see while Wonder Trading. Alright, let's get started. I start my journey from nothing to something with Talon, one of the first doodles I ever caught. If you haven't seen my Doodle World movie, you probably don't know what I think of this doodle, but it's only level 10 for a reason. I traded away Talon in hopes of getting some good luck with my first trade. Unluckily for me, it didn't pay off. Well, Duo seems like a cool doodle, but I'm trying to make a team of doodles I haven't seen yet, so we're back to trading. Basically, the plan is from here, we're just gonna trade whatever we get from the Wonder Trade, so that I don't have to actually lose any doodles. Wait 11 more seconds. With a challenge as easy as wonder trading for good doodles, you definitely wouldn't think it's as hard as it is. I think a better description for what I'm looking for is annoyingly tedious. The one minute time limit drives me to insanity. I don't know why it couldn't have been 30 seconds or something, but I assume it's for technical purposes. One thing I found out while wonder trading was that there were only like three of us actually wonder trading. It was really common to encounter a doodle that I had previously traded away or even owned. These annoying obstacles made it a tiny bit harder to complete the challenge, but it doesn't stop them. There. Bro, I just crashed. Are you kidding? Halfway through Roblox crashed, so I wasn't able to complete the wonder trade that I was in the middle of. This somehow ended up affecting the data store or something since I not only lost the doodle I was trading away, but the doodle I got from my previous trade as well. My only guess as to why this happened was that the connection must have been bad for some time before finally kicking me out, resulting in the loss of two doodles. Fortunately, they weren't of all that value, so it wasn't that big of a setback. A prarna? What the heck is that? Uh, let's see the stats. It's a six star. <gasps> oh, we're in a hidden trait. Hold on. Wait, we actually got something good. Opportunist. Wait, what does that mean? That doesn't mean hidden trait. Okay, but we're keeping that one. We're keeping that one for sure. I just realized I haven't been recording this whole time. Uh, here's a quick breakdown of everything I got. Let me just trade this away real quick. Here's a quick breakdown of everything I got in the last 20 minutes that I wasn't recording. Grunkle. I don't know if that's good. It's five star. Five star Wii Cub. All of these down here. This is so far the best one that we have right now. Oh, it's a five star too. I did catch a rough fire, but I have no idea where I put it. And after I crashed, I did lose a ton of doodles. I don't know where they went. Here's the rough fire. So we got a cool looking spunny thing. The attacker is inflicted with a Sonata of Darkness, causing them to faint in three turns. Hold on, that actually seems really good. It's level five, so it's trash, but I think we're gonna keep this one. I think I'm gonna trade away Grom. No doodles available at this time? Did I reach the max? Wait 44 more seconds until you can wonder trade. No way no one is doodle wonder trading at this time, bro. Okay, let's go. Oh, <gasps> Hatrix, what is that? Oh my gosh, and it's a five star. Is that a skin? It has like a skin on. It's a level five, so I don't know. Skin, none. It's a cool looking doodle, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep this thing then, I guess. It looks really cool. Let's hope this works. Oh, now I gotta be worried about the no doodles available at this time, bro. How many people are playing this game? Is this my munchies? <laughs> Toilet bot wipe! No way I got my own doodle back, bro. There is like four people using Wonder Trade. What the heck? Yo, we got another Taz Joni, but with a tint, I think. Right here. So far, we got two tints. That's wild. Yeah, we're trading this guy away then. 
It was while I was water trading when I realized that the social park needed some improvements. The whole place kind of seemed hard to interact with as a player who didn't really know what anything was. If I was in charge of the social park, I would put the battle button on the bottom of the screen with the trade button right next to it. Also, the healing station would be a lot closer instead of on the beach. I could go more in depth into that, but that's not the point of the video. Back to my trading grind. Hold on, is that another tint? Let's see. Definitely keeping that one. So I'm going to be going through the whole stash and you guys can tell me whether it's good or not. First we got a Kranagunk here. It's a two star. I don't know if it's good. The evolution looks cool though from what I've heard. Dodo Tear with the cool looking name. Four star. Hatrix five star level five. Level five Wee Cub with a cool name. Level five Grunkle with a cool name. Just a normal Rough Fire that I got because I like it. Level four Spunny with a cool trait. That might be good for PvP. Uh, level 4 Fawn Sprout, Think's Trash. Level 5 Prarna with a hidden ability, I think. No, not a hidden ability. Uh, something with the star. I don't know what that means. Uh, Tinted Rosebug, that's a 5 star. Hidden Trait Static Heat here. Level 51 Tajjoni with a tint, bro. This thing is absolutely insane. And we have the Tinted Prickles, that's also 3 star. That's everything I got. I don't know if that's going to be useful for PvP, but we'll definitely look into that. Alright, that's all from me today. If you watched up to this point, expect some pretty big changes happening to the channel pretty soon. Continue to look at the community post for updates for info on that. Thank you all for sticking around, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.